Tony Ellis, and you're watching Football Exclusives. Footballexclusives.co.uk Follow us on Twitter. At a, a low league club, it's so so varied. I mean, you can be involved with fixtures, you can be involved with players' registrations, um, personnel issues, commercial issues, community issues, um, maintenance, counting. It's just so varied. Every day is different. Um, there are no two days the same. Um, it's really quite interesting. And you've got to be fairly versatile and being able to deal with um, the things that you face on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, my role pretty much encompasses everything to do with sponsorship for the club. That's everything from shirt sponsors through to stadium sponsorship, programme advertising, perimeter advertising and match day hospitality. Um, being a small club you tend to do quite a lot outside of that, but that, that, that's, the, that's the main role that I've got. I've also got some responsibility for the shop sales and um, some of the media stuff that we do as well. So it's, it's, it's pretty much everything to do with bringing in money into the club that isn't related to match day. Well, basically, when I came in, um, it was a case of the website would maybe get updated once every couple of days. It wasn't sort of on a, a regular regular basis. So I make sure that I update the website regularly. People know that we're now the first point of contact where um, they can come for information on the club, whether that be on ticket information, upcoming fixtures, player news, um, pre and post match interviews with the manager um, and the first team staff as well as youth team information. Um, the Twitter account as well is something I've been really trying to push that along with Facebook. When I first came in we had something like under, under 100 um, followers on Twitter, now we're just short of 2,000 so in six months we've managed to build it up and it's a great way of getting the information um, from the official site out into um, out into the public eye in the hope that maybe they'll, they'll buy into what we're trying to do here at Rochdale and come along and support us in a match. Um, yes, it does, but um, not, to, not to the extent that, that, that you would think. Um, I, I would say that um, of the sponsorship that I got last season, 80% will come back. I've not been complacent about that, but I've already been speaking to the sponsors. Um, all the box holders that we had this season have already renewed for next season. Um, we haven't been able to put prices up, you know, going, going to a, a lower division, for instance, but we didn't put them up when we went into League One either. So, you know, it's, it's, we've got a very, very loyal band of sponsors here, and I'll concentrate on getting the, the, the extra 20% in to, to take it back to where we need to be. But, um, no, it's hard work. Um, there, there's not a, a lot of us doing it. Um, there's me, and you know, and actually going out and seeking sponsorship. But we've got good sponsors. We've got the cooperative in for another year with an option in a third year. So um, it's taken four or five years for me to get to that stage, but it's it, it's working well. Um, the the days are still quite busy. Um, saying the the only difference now is that you're not dictated to by fixtures for the time being but arguably the summer is busier than the season, um, but um, you, you haven't got that uh, fixture scenario that always dictates where you're going because you're always planning um, for a, a forthcoming fixture and uh, the summer allows us not to do that, although obviously we're still uh, at this moment in time trying to finalise pre-season plans, um, so pre-season games, tour, training, um, things like that. We're busy looking to, uh, for training facilities because we haven't got our own training ground. Um, so we've been doing some planning for that. Uh, we're selling season tickets at the moment. And there are season end returns that you've got to do for last year. You know, players are out of contract, offers of re engagement, retain lists. 
new players coming in, so players' contracts, registrations, negotiations. Um, there's plenty going on. It's pretty much just myself. Um, I'm based between Scotland and the training facility at Manor Farm in Timperley. Um, mostly on a Thursday or a Friday, I'll head down there and interview John Coleman or Jimmy Bell. Um, and a first team player before the game, then I'll come back, edit it down and pop it on. Um, on a match day we have um, a guy called Martin Coolshaw, who's a volunteer, who comes along and helps out with match day commentary, which is online through Dale Player. Um, and he'll do the post-match interviews just to sort of add a different voice and maybe a little bit different flavour to the match day experience. Is that maybe a problem in the lower leagues where you've got less people able to do sort of coverage and stuff like that? Definitely. When you, even perhaps even in League One, when the bigger, the so-called bigger clubs come, mm. they bring a whole entourage of people, maybe six, seven people, um, all of whom either some are volunteers, some are paid, whereas um, during the week here at the club, it is pretty much just myself who's got to try and find information. Then on a match day we've got Martin who's a volunteer, so that probably is one of the biggest problems where we can't do as much as we would like, but we, we do as much as we can do with the resources. I think next season we will be challenging, certainly in the playoff places all season. Automatic would be great because um, the playoffs are fantastic if your team aren't involved in the playoffs. Um, we've experienced heartache of playoff and we've experienced going straight up. I prefer going straight up a long way. But I think we've got, I think we've got the management team in place to actually take us there. And I think next season's going to be a whole lot of fun. I really, really do. Looking forward to it. Uh, very, very disappointed from our point of view, obviously, because uh, it was um, a long season, one that um, you know in which we've been relegated, and we're very disappointed because uh, we've done so well the previous year, having gone up from League Two to League One, just missed out on the playoffs the year before, only by three points. Um, so we were hoping to be there or thereabouts. So to got relegated, very disappointing, but. Um, it's happened, there's nothing we can do about it, we can't go back, so now we're focusing um, our attentions on mounting a campaign next year that will hopefully get us automatic promotion, but at the very least get us involved in the end of season playoffs. Yeah. Um, since John Coleman's come in he's tried to put his own stamp in things, which is obviously difficult when you come in halfway through a season when you've had someone in until December then an interim caretaker manager for sort of five, six weeks but he's made his first signing already that happened last week in George Donnelly um, I think the fans didn't quite expect it to come so soon just a week after the season had finished so he's clearly got his plans in place he knows who he wants and what he wants to do next season and um, I'm hopeful that we will be challenging to come straight back up <laughs> There's a certainly uniqueness about Rochdale Football Club. Um, what I would always do is invite people to the club um, because the, the club in many respects sells itself. We're, we're a good club to do business with. We'll always deliver on what we promise for, for sponsors. Um, but we also want sponsors to become supporters. Um, it's important, you know, obviously from my accent, I'm not from this area. So I very much became a supporter of this club. Um, and as such, I understand the club and, and what the, the dreams and the, the wishes of our supporters, and I can I can transfer that to you know uh, into sponsorship deals, and I do encourage support uh, sponsors to come in and you know not just sit in a box but actually get involved with the club, and that that does seem to work. It's a good place to watch football. Yeah. It really is, irrespective of what division. It's a really good place to watch football. Oh,